I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. We are Odyssey. Welcome to our channel. Today we are watching Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Season 1, Episode 5. I am all in with this show right now. I think that, like, the story is pretty good, but the thing that makes it over the top is the editing for me. Yoshitaka is, like, the... Uh, I edit this show, typically, um, and while editing it, you just... Like, I'm such a shitty editor. Like, like that's all I know I can see while trying to edit this show. Duh, it's a, so a good. masterpiece in editing. So. It's so good. I and would like, say that's probably one of the things I'm enjoying the most. Yeah, I, I agree. And it, like, brings up the question. Like, sometimes they're anime... Like, most of the time, animes are adop uh, adapted for manga, right? I don't know if I'd enjoy the manga, if there was one, if there is one, of this series as much as I'm enjoying the anime. It's like, it's such an experience it's, every it's, episode. They're really telling a story and being very purposeful with the edits they make. And I, I think it's really gotten me really into it. Me too. I want to see more, more Lucy. You want to see more Becca? I love Becca. I love Lucy. Ready? <laughs> Every time you say I love Lucy, all I think about is the old show. It's a show? It's old. Sweet. Give them a whirl. The hands. It's not out of my price range. You beg and the nod. They all yours. Man, make up your mind. You eat better than I when you clap my sandy. <laughs> you won't scavenge off a body you knew. Got my heart set on something else. He has a build he's going for. <laughs> Wait, meaning mine? <laughs> a little big for you. He's nothing I can't handle. Damn. All right, then. I flatline. They're all yours. No. <laughs> Please don't. Okay, fine. Hold you to it, then. Wait up. There's something different about you. I can tell. He kissed a girl. You got laid, didn't you? You did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta work on that poker face, dog. <laughs> Give me some good news. Tried poking holes, but got no go after no. David's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Suits always thirst for the creepy shit. A lot of BBs tuned by someone named JK. JK? Interesting. Yeah, Jimmy Kurosaki, brain dance editor. I mean, whatever JK tunes, he turns to gold. Just don't get edited. Interesting. So, they all, so they're like movies. Well, I'll be damned, kid. Didn't peg you for a super freak. N no, I... JK Taylor's the dance is special. You know, removing pain limiters and stuff. Damn. Would you bring your bodyguard to a fetish XBD tuning? Got a point. Get okay, David. Dog. Yeah. Not you a man. <laughs> <laughs> the clarity. The post-kiss <laughs> clarity. Going off grid, huh? But Where's Becca? Tight. Can't hope for a lock on position Grieving. Destination. Mostly fat cat buyers with deep pockets. Corping I love fat cats. Gang bosses. Let's move. Oh, is this is this him? Look at him. He's on Down list. to the shoes. Got him. Don't tell me you're not the Jimmy Kurosaki, are you? Knew it. Knew it was you. Totally. Huge <laughs> fan, sir. Guess I'm a little starstruck. I have somewhere to be, so if you'll. Yeah. Uh, my bad. Been an honor, Chumba. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty handy. What the hell was that? What? <laughs> Oh, we took David. <laughs> Feeling all right. That son of a bitch. Is it like a certain frequency? Uh, they're gone. Who's gone? You get Maine out of here. Got it. Don't gotta worry about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love their relationship. Tracker. Yeah. Didn't they put a tracker in? Yeah. Him? Oh. EMP, holy shit. You seem fine. I was out of range. I'm more worried about David. Again, won't pop shit if we zero him. The way we're hearing them sounds a little distorted. Right? Just a little. Lucy's like taking shit seriously. <laughs> oh, I don't like what looks like on the side of him. Oh! <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Wow. So he's a serial killer. Let's head out. Already hailed Backstack. Another body. Is he setting him up? Maybe. 
Yep. Fuck. Is this real? No, maybe it's a... He said he's a fan. Maybe he made a new edit. Holy shit. You bastard. I don't know Is using Sandy. What? And he feels the real pain of it? This isn't real. It's almost like Brain a threat. Dance. Like, okay. I could do this to you, kind of thing. It's like torture. So what do you think? A cream high, wasn't it? Using your own death instead of another's? Damn, you're putting your, like... Yourself into it. It's crazy. Hi. You're a fucking psychopath. Say the Edge Runner series. I have. Mm. Now I get my hands on so many cyber psycho scrolls. All military prototypes come with a built in brain dance scroller. Your Sandevistan. Do you know who wore it originally? All in all, Norris mowed down 27 people. Jesus Christ. Finally put an end to his killing streak. Truly one of the best I've seen in a long while. Fight all you want, the Sandy will drive you mad eventually. I cannot wait to capture it. Capture it. They know they're sane until they're not. Till they're not. not. Damn. You're gonna force me to watch that VD again. Go. Stop. Cut it out. Oh, so he tortures them until they go psycho. Oh. Hands up. Or you die. <gasps> oh god. David, hey, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, that better not be. What? <laughs> Jimmy's a theatric. Oh, Just enjoy the show. Custom spec, fully bulletproof, my pride. Fully bulletproof. Holy shit. Lucy, I'm working on it. That's a slow speed. David. Do your thing, I'll keep him busy. <sighs> Holy shit, it's so cool. Lucy, come on. I love how the eyes look. While well, she's like decrypting it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cool. What is this doing to David though? Oh no! Oh. Fucking kill him. Oh. Don't. Really, but, I thought you had but he's so entertaining. It takes real talent to quick hack so uh, quickly. Any more tricks like that and I'll kill you myself. Of course. Everyone clear on the plan now. Aye, aye, Captain. I'd like to apologize for early. <laughs> Whatever. Relive that one too, did you? Yeah. And yet you installed the Sandy anyway. Hell yeah. I'm gonna end up losing it like he did. Even he couldn't take it, not for long. What makes you think you're any different? It's tough to say. It just feels right. Like it's always been a part of me. I'm built different. I just know it. Believe yourself to be special? Why not? <laughs> it always ends one of two ways. You either lose yourself forever or die. As requested, the record of your ride today has been expunged. I look forward to serving you again. <laughs> My son's being discharged from the hospital tonight. Your standard edit will do. A true waste to settle for a standard. My patience is running thin. Unfortunate is right. <gasps> yeah, don't try nothing. I'm gonna see David. The arrogance. They have me by the ball. Do you have any idea who I am? It's the whole point. Calling. Oh shit. Forget about your panic button. We've got a jammer up. Oh. 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 
Oh, shit. Oh, is he gonna die right after we talk about getting... When he dies. It is you. Woo! Good team. Distracted work. him there. Yeah. A stray? Must have called a needle. Sucks to be him. Yeah. Looks like he won't be around to edit his own death row. Uh, guys, trauma team's incoming. Say what? This bitch has trauma coverage? Shit. So they have like a sensor of trauma? What was that smile? I don't know. I, I'm worried because of how David was talking about himself and thinking that he's special and this could just be an example of like, look, we're all just human, kid. You know? Mm. No one's special. Everybody has look, look, blood. the same end. Okay, that was Cyberpunk Episode 5. I really kind of enjoyed Jimmy as the antagonist of this episode. Mm -hmm. He had, like, for not having much screen time in the series so far, he had, like, this, uh, I don't know, this, like, Jeff Goldblum about There was this major him. entertainment factor to yeah. this character. Like, I feel like if this was live action, I would cast Jeff Goldblum, Goldblum to play him. I like that. Yeah, I like, like that. I, I liked him, though. It was, uh... It adds, like, a, it's a way, it's a subtle way to add depth to this entire universe, right? Because of we're, we've been given enough information to make up an image of who Jimmy is and what his career is. But there's this, like, nuanced, like, personality to him that explains what kind of person it would take to be be making this kind of product in the first place you know he himself is a fucking loose cannon because it would take that to be able to make these brain dances of and it also seems like uh events. he's willing to find the fun in things that was kind of the energy he had is that it was just like a yeah oh you have a gun pointed at me oh okay well i better listen you know it was like it, there wasn't real fear there yeah which i think also fits with the idea that he creates these things that, like, I mean, David was being tortured, basically, living in that. And this guy with this, like, nonchalant, fun energy yeah. is the one that creates it. This this feeling like he doesn't feel or sense fear. Like, they were like, he just, what did he, did gonk? Like, yeah. he just, like, didn't move out of the way when the guy shot the needles. He was, like, ready. Like, and, and it's interesting because these aren't... What he was showing David wasn't just another brain dance of James Norris, right? A different person's mm -hmm. perspective. He had found a way to put your own self into that uh, scenario, into that BD, so that there's more of that immer immersion and realism. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it's like, okay, how many times have you done it yourself, Jimmy? Because if you're the creator, you need to, like, fine-tune things, right? So I'd assume he tested out the product himself. And if he has... To the point of, like, I can't even tell what a brain dance is anymore or not. Or, like, I'm so used to the feeling of how it feels to die because of that. Then once it's actually coming, it's not, like, gonna freak me out too much, you know? Right, like, if he's making all of these and, and you know, really testing them out and stuff before putting them on the, the market on the street. Yeah. Like, he's probably died a bazillion times within his own equipment. It's crazy. I... I like that even, like, the people who aren't necessarily going out and getting themselves into fights or, like, uh, wars with each other's or opposing groups. Like, if you're a prominent figure in this world and you have money, your body is a sort of currency once you're dead, right? Yeah, because of all these, like, enhancements. So you need to protect yourself while you're alive regardless of what you're doing if you have money. Like, it's like we you're wearing your bank account on you like jimmy basically. had this emp and i like a device that like fucked up our yeah. cast to begin with this mm -hmm. episode that's nuts like imagine basically walking around and knowing there was like ten thousand dollars strapped to your body at all times yeah and i mean hell tanaka was people like, you kill know for less with? yeah exactly and tanaka like has his own defenses and i wonder needles that like <laughs> came out of the palm of his hand so do you think uh, Katsuo is in the bed recovering from 
you know. His smackdown with David, yeah. Yeah, that's satisfying to know. <laughs> it is satisfying. I like, I like hearing that. Um, it's you! That so gets rocked. The, the people who he's making, like Tanaka, for example, Jimmy's making the brain dances especially for him. Are these people who want, like, the ob- obviously they exist for, like, the porn reasons, but... Do well, pe- main said BD titties, so... Yeah. Do people want... <laughs> do people want to, like, experience them being killed and then being in pain as well in that, like, sick, like, I guess it's that way? same, like... He called it a high. That yeah. was the word he was using when, when David woke up, basically, was this... How did you feel about your high? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I imagine, like, that, that adrenaline rush of either experience is probably in a weird way similar in what it's doing to your brain yeah uh i i can't what was her what's her name kiwi kiwi, kiwi. like vomited because of the emp yeah and hit. I, I was like what was it neurological implants yeah so it's like it's designated to affect Neural. like other people like harder than others depending on their own enhancements which right is like really it was um specifically targeted to affect runners yeah the most that's crazy I, one, like, you know, we got the line from Lucy that was, like, I I was out of range. Mm -hmm. For some reason, like, the, like, conspiracy person, like, that I am. And you don't believe that? Well, no, I, it's not that I don't believe it. It just made me, like, feel a little weird for some reason. Like, I was, like, out of range. Like, we don't know everything about you, I feel like. Like, Mm -hmm. uh, that's the impression that it left off for me, though. But we saw more facial expressions from Lucy this episode that were so different. It's a little more life so there, a little more like emotion and feeling there. Yeah, like a protectiveness and irritation about like uh, uh, over David. And I think and that being it taken. like totally feels believable after that scene we get of her kind of bringing up like not wanting him to like die on her and yeah. stuff. It's like she's she's very vulnerable. The moon dream is real, you know, and and she decides to be vulnerable with him and actually seems to like him and or just want to be close to him and care about his well-being and to be able to see that and then now be seeing like actual like we can tell as a viewer how she's feeling when he's involved yeah. I think is really satisfying. It is. I agree with you. I Becca, you're right, is probably grieving. I said it more at the time. It was just the thing that popped into my head. Uh, I mean, she was going to let David have the hands. The golden hands, right? And I'm so glad David turned those down because I didn't like how they looked in the first place. Yeah. I I am getting just like more and more worried about me. And they're like flaunting his inevitable death in front of me now. And I'm like, oh. Please, please. As soon as Tanaka went for Maine, I was like, oh my god, what did we talk about in this episode? Maine dying and David getting yep. the fists, basically. I do feel like, so the impression that you got at, like, a Jimmy's look at David at the end of the episode, what do you think of my take on that? That it was like a acknowledgement of their conversation that they just had about how, like, death is seemingly inevitable and happens to everybody and that you, you're, you're not special or i think it i i, I totally like it mm-hmm. and i think it fits with the character yeah you know of jimmy with uh the fact that we're talking about how he created these bds and so he was obviously probably watching them himself and the attitude he seemed to have about life and and t- seeming to enjoy all of these interactions he even enjoyed lo- like basically trapping Tanaka like everything was just kind of like oh yeah because he's experienced death probably so many times that it's like it's just a part it's a part of life so like I'm I'm in the middle of like two different paths right now one that it's like oh I've seen an anime before and anime protagonists have something special about them that lets (laughs) them do you know what I mean yeah but they never talk about how they have something special but yeah, no, exactly. And so on, in one route, it's like, oh, I wonder if, like, if the fact that David got to experience a BD with the enhancement that he had yet to get would give him an edge or if it was something else, or I'm going down the like route of, oh my God, how badass and cool would this show be if they leaned into the fact that, yeah. I, I want to feel special and feel different and I'm pushing myself further and I am different, you know, 
and you're just not at the end of the day. You like you're just another person living in this dystopian world. I think that would feel really good, except if I get attached to David. I'm much, already pretty and then attached I, to David. I know. And so like obviously not I wouldn't want an inevitable end or that reality is that he's gonna go psycho. Um but I do like the energy that it's keeping us at of like he's saying he's special, but I think with this ending of this episode, we as the viewer are aware that that it, it could happen. Yeah. You know, and death could be a possibility. And we also get kind of Lucy's reactions to the idea of David dying too. And then, so I think that with this episode, it puts the viewer on this line of like, hey, don't be too comfortable. Like, David might be like cool and have gotten out of some sticky situations, but... Is he even actually special or, yeah. you know, so it's keeping us in this, this zone of not knowing exactly what to expect from his life expectancy. I don't. Okay. So are Kiwi's nipples blue because she picked those them color for them because she was born with them that way? Or because it's a consequence of some enhancement and she doesn't care too much about the color. I mean, her whole body's kind of pink. Yes. So, I mean, I think she just doesn't care. Does she not care or does she, is well, that she obviously doesn't care about being naked in front of other people. But, like, did, did she ch want to look the... Did she choose this? Did she choose the color scheme or is the color scheme a consequence of the enhancements? It's a very good question. Be These are the questions that we should be They're asking. important, They're right? They're important. Mm -hmm. Are there different, like, do certain enhancements that we're seeing in this episode, in particular, in regards to Kiwi, have uses that we are unaware of, and that is why they are certain mm. colors? It doesn't, hmm, maybe, <laughs> possibly. I can't yeah. even begin to imagine what those uses would be. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, it has to be. In some lights, though, Kiwi doesn't look that pink or purple, you know? Hmm. Lucy's still my favorite character. Lucy's still your favorite? Yeah. I didn't get to see any Becca this episode, so. Yeah. I think, um, I like, I like Maine a lot. Yeah. So I might go with Maine for this episode. It might change depending on the episode. Hmm. But it's because it's a fun show. I'm fun having show. fun, just like Jimmy was having fun before he just died. Just in a different way. He even had fun as he was dying with that smile he like gave. He was like, oh, I'm bleeding out. <laughs> like, you know? Like, yeah. It was, what? <sighs> I, uh, I like this show. I, it feels, like, different, I guess. I don't know how many episodes there are, but I'm kind of scared. That to... it's a short type of show? Yeah. I'm all, and, like... I'm scared what they're going to do with, with my feelings and my emotions here in regards to David. I wonder what they're going to make him out to be because they have so much potential to go in so many different routes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have us kind of on the fence of which way it's going to go with a few different things that we kind of expect. Like we have this idea of this father figure-ish character like Maine. We're now discussing what David would get from him if he died. Yeah. He kind of takes over after David's mom's death. And then we also have this idea of like all these enhancements they're doing to their body could drive any of them psycho. Yeah. All right. An uneasiness to it. That's all I have. You have anything else? Uh well, actually, yes. I wanted to... One thing I wrote down is... Uh, I really liked how this was phrased. Metal mixed with meat. The soul pushed to the edge. Mm. I really liked I like, that. I like that as well. I, there was also a line that was like, you know they're sane until they're not. Oh, I wrote that down too. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Yeah, both of those were good. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time.